Hey guys, welcome to the weekend vlog. Oh, I'm out of breath because I just woke up. Walked up the stairs so that I can be in the kitchen. So I'm gonna be making some lunch for Emmanuel and I. He's actually downstairs. We just filmed an awesome video. You would have probably seen it already, maybe. Or oh, it's still coming out, one of the two. Whichever I decide. Yeah, so we just filmed that. I did another video. It's a dumb video, so I filmed two today. Feeling very, very productive. Gonna make some scrambled eggs for Emmanuel and I. He's downstairs studying now. So it's just gonna be a chill night in. I'm gonna do some video editing. He's gonna study. And then when he's done, we're gonna watch a movie. And then maybe have some supper. So it's gonna be really, really, really chilled night in. Ooh, I'm out of breath. So I'm gonna actually start making some of these. Some scrambled eggs for Emmanuel and I. Cause we're hungry. Hungry, hungry, hungry. scrambled eggs look because they're quite different to how other people make them I don't know I make them quite spicy and they're full of tomatoes and spinach and it's like an omelette but with scrambled eggs because <laughs> I couldn't make an omelette to save my life one day maybe when I'm big but that's what it looks like with a lot of cheese and this is what our night is gonna look like Manny's studying for his last exam on Monday Focus! <laughs> and I'm gonna be watching some Downton Abbey. <laughs> yes, it's a chill night in. Some exciting things happening tomorrow, so I'll see you then. Bye. Bye, bye, bye. of my weird breakfast but last night my dad made butter chicken and for the life of me I I was waiting so long for it and then I was like I don't want it anymore so there was so much left over and I'm finally having my piece of butter chicken and it's actually delicious oh my word I missed out last night but I slept like a log I was supposed to start editing some videos and I just didn't because I just Emmanuel was studying so I fell asleep while watching Downton Abbey when he woke up, then we had food and then we started watching like QI and stuff like that. And then we just chilled, to be honest. I feel so bad for not doing any work yesterday, but I'm gonna watch an episode now of Downton Abbey while I have my butter chicken and coffee. Then I'm gonna dump all the footage and I'm gonna start um, editing one of them that I wanna come, that I want to come out on Monday, which is actually this vlog. Weird enough. So I'm going to edit yesterday's 
snippets and this mornings and then I have to get up and get ready because this evening Emmanuel's dad is doing a poetry jazz event which is so exciting I've never seen him perform his poems before I've read his book but I'm actually really keen to see him perform the poetry that he writes and there's going to be jazz artists and other poets so I'm going to try and catch some of that I'm working technically so I don't know if I'll be able to vlog much of it but I'm going to try and get at least some footage some like little bits of footage so hope you enjoy your Saturday guys I know I will my hair looks so weird Hi. and plus I love these pajamas they're from Hooworths oh my gosh they're so beautiful I'm into pink lately maybe it's just a millennial thing but maybe I stay into pink who knows so I just did my makeup for the day. It's really simple. I have not much going on. Just a little bronzer, highlighter, bit of foundation because you never can go wrong with just a little bit. And of course, brows on fleek. I like them quite dark like this, especially with today's look with this choker and this stripy top and with this straight here. I like it. I really like it. So I discovered something really, really, really cool and I don't think I'm I'm going to do a makeup tutorial anytime soon. But this is a really cool tip for people that use matte lipstick. Um, I'm using the NYX lingerie in Push Up. I have it on right now. It's a really light pink nude lip. can't really see it in this lighting situation I have right now. But it's really, really nude. I love it. It's my favorite NYX um, lingerie one. I have two. I actually need to get a refill of this because it's at the end of the road. It's my it's my ultimate favorite. So at the end of the road of this one, it's kind of not sitting as well as it should. So I discovered a really, really cool tip. I love matte lipstick, but I have a tendency of not putting it on properly. Because my lips are already chapped as it is. So I thought I needed to get something that's going to help. And I've been using the Clarins um, Instant Lip Comfort Oil. So it's like a little tiny thing like this. I got it as a free thingy when I bought my Clarins foundation and face wash and all that. And I really, really like this. I've used so much of it during winter when I was sick. It's a lot better because you put it on once and it's literally, it moisturizes your lips for the whole day. The whole day. I never had to reapply this, which is so, so cool. So I've put this on first. I let it set for a little bit and then I applied my next. And it's right so nice. And it's really dried nice. It doesn't have that sticky feeling. It really, really feels good. And I hope that it's going to last the whole day. So I'm going to test it out and I'm going to check in with you later to show you like what the results are. And if I reapply it and how that went. So I'll show you later. When your dreams and your goals are as elusive as a rainbow's conclusion, keep fighting. When you have more month left at the end of your salary, keep grinding. You are stronger than all of the no's put together. So how, how can rejection be your season when it's just bad weather? There's no forever in your pain, but there is sunshine beyond the rain. So when, when mountains form in your daily walk with God, the best way to turn your spark into a flame is to keep fighting. Mm. Stand. Tall. Stand tall like a boy with wooden crutches whose dreams dwarf Kilimanjaro. Stand tall like a girl with cancer who should be who should be dying whose legs and arms grow weary but heart grows stronger as the thought of another 12 round battle with a disease that fights dirty approaches. Stand tall. Like 300 Spartan soldiers with a million men standing in between you and eternal victory. The bands are marching, the trumpet has sounded. You've done it. You've done it all. You have achieved. Finally, made it home from the event hosted by that man's daddy, by Dan Gaz. Daddy. It was really, really cool actually. I really enjoyed it. Cool poems, some awesome music. 
It was really, really nice. A good refreshing Saturday, to be honest. Mm -hmm. From the normal Saturday that you usually have. So it was really, really cool. Now we finally at home. We went to visit my granny, which was fun because my baby cousin is too cute. She doesn't speak much, but she's adorable when she does speak. She's so cute when they're young. Yeah, she's like five years old and she's so cute. And now I'm finally home and I'm gonna have some food that my dad made. Let me show you what it looks like. Okay, I made it this beautiful actually. It is pulled pork with a green salad with celery, my favorite, on a toasted sesame seed roll. That is what Emmanuel looks like <laughs> because he's just got food on his mind. Don't ya? He's judging my plate, my bowl. I don't know, it's presentation. What no, would you rather no. eat? No. That or that? This is not Hell's Kitchen. Comment in the comment section which one you'd rather eat. A or B. <laughs> I still love you. Same thing. Going down. I still love you. I love you too. That's why I'm having your plate. No! It was my job. And now, more Downton Abbey. Because that's what it is, guys. That's what it is. So I hope you guys had a great Saturday. I sure did. And I'm really tired. I want to take this makeup off. Have food. And have some cutie with that one thing. I'm poking your nose. I'm scratching your nose. <laughs> hey guys, I know I've been a very bad blogger today. Blogger, sorry. I didn't vlog anything. <laughs> it's Sunday and after church, Emmanuel and I just went to go have some cake and coffee at our favorite, one of our favorite restaurants in PE. I'll take you with one day. It's really nice. We go there a lot. Um, yeah, but I didn't take my camera with. I was so bad. Okay, it was a spontaneous thing, so I didn't know we were going to go there. And I've always wanted to show you guys this because it's like a really, really nice place. But when we go again, I'll show you. Yeah, so we just did that. Then I came home, Emmanuel's at home studying his last exam ever. I'm so, 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 so happy for him. He is so excited to see where life is going to take him next and how God is just going to move him into a new space. So I'm really, really pl bad, 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 proud of him. And yeah, so all I did was I came home, I had a big lunch, very big, and then I fell asleep. I had a nap in the afternoon. It was so nice. I love summer afternoon naps. I don't know why. Winter afternoon naps always make me feel groggy. But I feel so full of energy now. And now I'm going straight into work. Actually, let me show you what I'm doing. So right now, I'm busy working on a content calendar. Because there's a lot, a lot going on right now with on the blog and on the YouTube channel so I'm just planning that content out so that it can go out on those dates because I'm very specific. December is gonna be an epic month, I'm so excited for December. It is my birthday month so something really special is gonna happen on the blog and the YouTube channel and then I'm gonna be doing some pre-Christmas content on the blog starting this week so it's the, the first one comes out this week and I'm really really excited about it because I was working with local people from PE and it's going to be so nice to show off some awesome things that we have in PE. So that's for November. December is going to be awesome because it's Christmas. I'm going to do a vlogmas. Yay! I'm going to do a vlogmas so it's going to be a lot more videos. So I'm going to need to be filming a lot more now in November and then it's my birthday so I'm going to do something really cool for my birthday. Um, on the blog and on the YouTube channel. So please keep up to date with that stuff by subscribing. Please subscribe and I think I'm going to end this vlog now here um, because I have a lot of work to do and I know this weekend was like not as exciting but that's how some weekends are. Like we don't do much every weekend. Some weekends we do a lot of work and other weekends it's just family time. So that's what it is. This week we have a lot going on, so I'm going to do a weekly vlog. So I'm ending this vlog now so that tomorrow I can start the weekly vlog because a lot is happening this week and I actually want to take you guys along on that. So just love 
just love me this once for this boring vlog i know it wasn't as interesting as vlogs should be but this is what my weekend is like sometimes and i'm glad i get to show you like some normality because being a blogger and being a vlogger is not always like woo, we got an event woo, we're doing this it's sometimes as normal as every day so thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and keep watching please 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 keep watching because some awesome things are coming up honestly i'm so excited i wish i could tell you now but i can't so please stay tuned and hit that subscribe button that bell key so you like to know when new videos are those bells are really really cool so have a good week guys bye 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 bye